Hello and welcome to Video Jug and a closer look, this time, at our home planet, Earth. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and is the largest of the rocky planets in the solar system. It is located about 150 million kilometers from the Sun between Venus and Mars. Home to the human species, it's also referred to as the Earth, Planet Earth, Terra, the world, and the blue planet. It is the only planet not named after a Roman or Greek god. For a long time in human history, people thought that the world was flat and the center of the universe. It was not until the time of Copernicus in the 16th century that it was understood that the Earth is just another planet. The Earth is the first planet known to have liquid water on the surface and is the only place in the universe that is known to harbor life, up to now. The Earth formed about four and a half billion years ago, but no one is completely sure when or where the Moon came from. The Earth travels around the Sun at nearly 30 kilometers per second, or 67,000 miles per hour. It makes one complete orbit for every 365 and a quarter times it rotates about its axis. The Earth's axis of rotation is tilted 23 degrees away from the perpendicular to its orbital plane, producing seasonal variations on the planet's surface. Ice caps of frozen water at the North and South Poles are gradually receding because of the buildup of carbon emissions in the atmosphere, causing the overall temperature to rise in a greenhouse effect. Earth has a magnetic field that, together with the primarily nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere, protects the surface from radiation that is harmful to life. The atmosphere also serves as a shield that causes smaller meteors to burn up before they strike the surface. But the atmosphere is very thin. There is no definite line between atmosphere and space. It just gradually thins out the higher you go. Although humans cannot exist over about 10,000 meters without oxygen, at 80 kilometers you are considered to be an astronaut. The atmosphere is colored blue because of the light scattering abilities of water molecules and other gases. Blue light is scattered more than the other colors. At sunrise and sunset, the sky appears to be red because the longer red wavelengths are more prevalent. Magnetic radiation streams from the sun and congregates at the poles in the upper atmosphere and cause the aurora. Colored lights that dance across the sky at extreme altitudes. Clouds in the atmosphere are caused by a buildup of water molecules. Clouds can be created at ground level, which is fog, and can extend to a height of over 8,000 meters in the case of cirrus clouds. The presence of life on Earth has greatly affected the composition of the atmosphere. Plant life inhales carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and emits oxygen as a byproduct. Mammals on the planet inhale oxygen and emit carbon dioxide. It's a wonderful arrangement. It is estimated that there are 6.6 .6 billion humans. This figure is expected to rise to 7 billion by the year 2013. The 29% of land mass consists of deserts, mountains, plains, and plateaus. The tallest mountain is Mount Everest on the border of Nepal and China. It is nearly 9,000 meters or 29,000 feet. The surface of the Earth is made from a crust of rock 0 to 60 kilometers thick, known as the lithosphere. Below this surface is a superheated and viscous inner core. The lithosphere essentially floats on the surface of this liquid inner core in what are known as tectonic plates. 
Tectonic plates are rigid sections of the Earth's surface that move in relation to each other. It is when two or more of these plates grind together that we get earthquakes. Collisions between the plates give rise to high mountain ranges as the surfaces are pushed up. The abundance of water on the Earth's surface is what makes it unique amongst the other planets in the solar system. The deepest underwater location is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean with a depth of almost 11,000 meters or nearly seven miles. If all the land on Earth were spread evenly, the water would rise to an altitude of more than two and a half kilometers, approximately one and a half miles. About 97% of the Earth's water is in salty oceans, while the remaining 3% is fresh water. But the majority of the fresh water, about 68%, is currently in the form of ice. That's less than 1% of Earth's water available for drinking. So try not to use it all at once. For more intriguing facts about our solar system, check out our other videos here on VideoJug.